Hello everybody, my name is Jordan and welcome to Jordan's Soapbox. So E3 has come and gone and if I'm being honest the overall show this year was pretty abysmal and makes me wonder whether E3 will even be relevant in the years to come, especially with social media now being a thing. Regardless, it didn't mean that there weren't cool announcements. Far from it, there was actually a lot of them. In fact, so many that I think it's difficult to make one video about it in a timely manner. So I decided to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about the announcements that were the most interesting to me in one sentence or less. Oh boy, here we go. Starfield, looks interesting, but I need more information on it. Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl, both excited and nervous about this one, especially with the Metro series being a thing. Atomic Heart, I am always down for some alternate reality shenanigans that involve the USSR. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, I love the movie, so it doesn't come as much as of a surprise that I'm excited for this one. Sea of Thieves, A Pirate's Life, likely one of the only announcements that both my girlfriend and I were excited for, and we're considering Game Pass now to play it. The Outer Worlds 2, I love The Outer Worlds, please go play it, and it was either this or New Vegas 2 probably, so this works for me. Super Monkey Ball, Banana Mania, I have a love-hate relationship with this series, so goodness knows I'm getting it to probably review it. Kazuya for Smash. I played Tekken a lot in the arcades as a kid, so this works for me. WarioWare, get it together. Holy flipping heck, my son has returned to me. Metroid Dread. Holy freaking crap! And that's the announcements I was excited for. I'm wanting to know what y'all liked about the show, or didn't, in the comments below. I'm curious to see what other folks were excited or not excited about. This is Jordan from Jordan's Soapbox, and I'll see y'all later.